Jipmer is one of the pioneers in healthcare research in India. Biomedical waste management is an important issue in healthcare settings. We have a well equipped biomedical waste management in Jipmer. We are doing it by generation, proper segregation, collection, transportation, treatment and safe disposal. Biomedical waste or the waste generated within the hospital premises. The common biomedical waste generated in the hospital are human anatomical waste like placenta, bedside dressings, diapers, protective wear, all rubber and plastic items like IV bottles, blood sets, IV sets, all tubings and the general waste as kitchen waste, all wrappers and papers and office waste and all the waste shops. These biomedical waste have a higher risk of infection and injury to the patients, to all healthcare workers and to the surrounding community. For the purpose of safe disposal, for which we need to follow segregation practices at the generation site. In JIPMA, we follow four color coding system to segregate the waste. They are yellow, red, black and blue. Waste to be disposed into the yellow bag are placenta, bloodstained cotton, gauze and pads, diapers, protective wear including cap, mask, gown, apron and the blood stained gloves outdated medicines and cytotoxic drugs the guide wire and the suture material the blood bag should be discarded into the yellow bag and the blood set to be discarded into the red bag The waste to be disposed into the red bag are IV bottles, IV set, rice stew, suction tubes, AT tube. all drain tubings euro bag suction tubings red rubber catheter police catheter Triple lumen catheter, cardiac catheter, syringes, sample collecting tubes, in welding venflons. Needle caps and adapters, clamps and venflon cocks, Romovac drain bottles, and the plastic bottles used clinically in the wards. Waste to be disposed 
into the black bag or kitchen waste. Tea cups and tumblers. Syringe covers. Wrappers. Covers of blade bag, suture material, blades, and the paper waste. Cardboard boxes, juice bottles. The waste to be disposed into the blue bag or glass ivy bottles, medicine bottles, penicillin bottles and used wire. The most common injury among the healthcare workers is needle stick injury which can be prevented easily if the shops are disposed properly into the puncture proof box. The waste shops to be disposed into the puncture proof box are needle, venflon stillets, Used surgical blades, used shaving blades, suture needles, broken ampules, used glass slides. and the cover slips. Before disposing the used needle and syringe, the tip of the needle to be destroyed by the needle destroyer and to be disposed into the puncture proof box. The hub of the syringe to be cut to prevent reuse and then to be disposed into the red bag. Before disposing the IV bottle and the set, the needle to be separated and to be disposed into the puncture proof box. And the bottle and the IV set into the red bag. As you know, the biomedical wastes are highly infectious and dangerous. It can cause serious damage to the society and the environment if it is not properly segregated and disposed of. So, we kindly request you to follow the proper segregation practices and help us in protecting the environment and health of the community. To conclude, let the waste of the sick not contaminate the lives of the healthy.
this is the point of segregation here the sanitary supervisors weigh and label the waste bags these are transported in closed containers it is essential that all biomedical waste products are segregated at the point of generation and it should be appropriately treated and disposed safely the waste collected from the wards are transported to the treatment center This is our secured landfill area. Scheduled maintenance of the secured landfill area is done periodically by leveling, relocation and closure of the craters. And one security personnel is posted in each shift to check any unauthorized entry or accidents. The area is monitored round the clock with the help of a 360 degree revolving camera. All the shafts segregated in the shafts container are collected and disinfected by using 10% hypochlorite solution. Then it is disposed into shafts pit which is secured safely with a lock and key. This is a microwave. Infected plastics are treated here. It works between 9 a.m. to 4:30 p.m., covering six cycles per day. Each cycle lasts for 15 minutes duration. Around 10 to 12 kilograms of infected plastics contents are loaded into the machine for each cycle. It works by automatic process, and at the completion of the cycles. it cast out a slip with details of the cycle after this the treated plastics are cut into small pieces in shredder machine to prevent the reuse
we are having a well equipped sewage treatment plant the sewage first enters the bar screen chamber which is guarded by micron filter the sewage then enters oil and grease chamber where oil and grease are absorbed from the sewage before it reaches the equalization tank here bubbles are generated by blowers which neutralize toxic gases then it enters into the aeration tank in secondary clarifier the grinder rotates slowly at the rate of 1 circle per hour The sand filter and activated carbon filter turns the content to clear water. This water then enters into the treated tank. The pH of the water in treated tank is maintained at 7. We at Jipmer strive to conform to the best practice of biomedical waste management in keeping with our motto of clean and green Jipmer and protect our employees, patients, public and the environment. Your health and environment is our motto.